so this video um, is kind of inspired by a recent book that I read and that's called Make Your Bed. Um, it's by this ex-military guy who talks about how it's important to make your bed because that kind of sets the tone and kind of sets the tone for, for good habits. And I found it quite fascinating because before that I read The Power of Habit which is like a, a huge book on the bestseller list with the yellow cover. Anyway, all this will be up on screen so you know what I'm talking about. So I read that before and it, it talked about how, you know, um, like why a person is say a gambler or has a gambling habit or has a certain addiction and that's because habits are formed in certain ways there's like a loop so it's quite steeped in science these things anyway it just got me thinking like you know um, what are the good habits that I have that I should continue and what are the habits that I should try to cultivate so I've thought about it and I've read about it and here are some habits that I want to share that I think have helped me and that hopefully will help you as well My number one habit is to wake up early and honestly it actually almost irritates me when people like wake up really late. I mean I just, if I'm with them on a holiday, I'll be like okay. Of course they kind of want to kill me because I'm a morning person but I just feel like waking up early is a great habit because your day is so much longer. You have so much more time to do things and it's actually been scientifically proven that people who wake up early in the morning are more productive and are happier and why wouldn't you want to be more productive and happier as a person? Um, if you have problems waking up early, I would say do it slowly like um, the number one thing is uh, go to bed earlier. Like, I don't sleep really early but I also don't need a lot of sleep but if you need like, I don't know, six hours then just count backwards, you know? If you want to wake up at 6am then go to sleep by midnight it's quite simple and then the other thing is how to wake up early people ask me that I'm like I won't set an alarm <laughs> you know set an alarm and don't snooze it like a million times like, I think if you really need to snooze your alarm once max twice if not that's just wasting time so that's my tip and I think the number one habit that I think everyone should cultivate is to wake up early the other habit that I think I really wish that everyone would make this habit is to work out you know I'm there is a form of physical activity, I believe, for everyone. Like if you are like an adrenaline junkie like me, you will like more extreme sport like wakeboarding for example. If you like like socializing and doing things with people, you will like the you know the, the fun of being in a group and playing a team sport like I play netball. If you are a more individualistic sort of person and you like peace and quiet, you know that like my husband is a swimmer and he likes I think the the alone time in the water there is something for everyone really you know if you are like a more chill person you might want to do yoga the point is i think everyone should cultivate a habit of working out working out and doing something physical some sort of physical activity in some way uh, for a few different reasons one is it's good for your body it's good for your heart um two is oh that, that's actually that's two the second one is one or two the other thing is when you work out it releases happy hormones called endorphins and you know, it just helps you to be a happier person. It also is stress relieving. So if you have had a really stressful day at work and you somehow find a way to work out, or you know, for me, I start the day with a workout because I like to start the day on a happy note. But whichever works for you, whether it's a morning workout, an evening workout, or even a lunchtime workout, um, I would say just try to cultivate that habit and try to make time to work out. So this third habit, you know, it may sound controversial, but I'm not advocating any religion, any one religion, I would say, Pray and prayer is a very good habit to cultivate. Like if you're not a religious person, like you're atheist, that's fine. Then you know, do it in the form of meditation, perhaps. I think just having a bit of alone time, even if it's like five minutes, to pray to whichever God you believe in, or even to just give thanks in general. You know, I would I, I would actually combine this prayer thing with expressing gratitude. So for me, I'm religious, so I pray and I give thanks for whatever I have. But like I said, if you're not religious, you can meditate and think about it. Or you can write down the things that you're grateful for. And I actually think that's a really good habit. I I don't do it daily, but I try to do it every so often, like every few weeks. And especially if I'm feeling very down, I take out a book and I write down the things that I'm grateful for. Because honestly, we all have things to be grateful for. And to keep remembering the things that we're grateful for just makes you a happier person. Um, yeah, so I mean, if you have... A religion, I would say try to cultivate that. If not, then you know, just maybe start a meditation practice. I'm still struggling with this meditation thing. You know, I know that um, it's supposed to be really good for you, and I've read so much science on it. Um, but I really need help with it because I either fall asleep, <laughs> most times I fall asleep, 
or I get really bored and then my mind drifts to like, oh, what am I having for lunch? Alright, so I, yeah, and I don't really, I haven't really had the discipline. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing this video also for myself to remind myself to do it. If you have tips on how to meditate and how I could really get into it, please drop me a line below and share them. Or if you have videos that you think are good to watch or whatever, you know, drop me a line as well because I'm, I'm honestly struggling with this meditation thing. Maybe I should join a meditation class. The reason why I haven't is because it seems like you know, like if the meditation class is 15 minutes, I could do it. But they all seem like half an hour at least or one hour and that seems like a lot of commitment. I don't know, maybe we can meditate together. Just give me some tips on this, but I think that having some sort of spiritual life and to be able to practice some sort of form of gratitude regularly is very good. It's a very, very good habit to cultivate. And my final habit, you know, that I feel like everyone should have to be happier is to stay connected. Like I think that we are, you know, like so much of our happiness is dependent on our relationship with people and not just romantic relationships, but even with your friends and with your family, like I really make an effort to stay connected. Um, with friends who are overseas, we have like WhatsApp group chats, we even do conference calls because sometimes it's easier and more fun for a bunch of girls to have a conference call rather than a three-way WhatsApp chat. But there really is no excuse, you know, because we have technology, there's WhatsApp, there's Telegram, there's we there's line there's wechat you know there's so many ways to keep connected there's email um and i don't mean connected as in you just scroll through your friend's instagram feed and you like their stuff that's not really connected guys i mean connected as an in actual interaction and as far as possible make time to actually meet up in person because i think that honestly nothing at least for me maybe because i'm a bit deaf and like phone calls don't really cut it for me i just do it with friends who are overseas but I think the best way to stay connected is to just make the effort to meet up, you know, meet up for lunch even if you guys work nearby or just, you just don't be so damn lazy after work and you know, just meet up with friends rather than going home to bitch alone. <laughs> just saying. And yeah, that's my number one, number one, number one tip I think for being happier and the number one habit I think that everyone should try to cultivate. Right, so those are my tips on, or those are the habits that I feel that everyone should try to cultivate and um, I feel like if everyone practiced these few habits, you know, you would just be a lot happier and who doesn't want that? So drop me a line below if you have tips as well on how to be happy and habits that you think that I should try cultivating. Uh, yeah, and previously I mentioned like if you have tips on meditation, please, I would really welcome that. Drop me a line as well. Otherwise, I'll catch up with you on Facebook and on Instagram. Oh, please give this a thumbs up if you like it as well.